guys like yourself and other notable mixed martial arts veterans like CM Punk are, are filthy, Tom. What a great segue there. CM Punk back in the news. He can, We cannot escape <laughs> no. CM Punk. CM no. Punk cannot escape professional wrestling. It appears now... I haven't read the reports. I don't need to read the reports. <laughs> well, I'll read the report to everybody, and I'll give my thought on it here, Tom, and then hand it back to you. But CM Punk intends on returning to WWE. The story is up on WrestlingObserver.com and available in depth for subscribers of the website, as Dave Meltzer wrote about it in this week's Wrestling Observer newsletter, which came out today. He says, quote, regarding CM Punk, there is obviously tons of talk regarding him returning. There have been rumors that it's happening, but those in WWE have only said that no deal is completed and that those close to punk have told us that it is his intention to return and the two sides are in talks end quote wwe will be in punk's hometown of chicago on november 25th for the survivor series Meltzer noted it would make sense for punk to return at that show ian carey added in the story up on the website Despite being fired on September 2nd, Punk continues to be the top merchandise seller for AEW last month. According to estimates by WrestleNomics, he sold more than any other wrestler on the roster, although AEW-branded merchandise sold more. So, I'll say this. Even though it is looking more and more like he is going to return to WWE, and I get it from a professional point of view i can see him not wanting to end his career with the sour taste in his mouth from AEW, regardless of what you think about the situation or whose side you're on or any of that other stuff i can see him not wanting to go out like that i can see him wanting to get a pound of flesh on that company for firing him and I would, i'm sure he would love the opportunity as part of his profession to get a microphone and get out all of the grievances that he wishes to get out i get it from a bank account point of view of the amount of money that he is going to be given by wwe because whatever it is i don't know if it would be on par of what with what he got from aew but it's certainly more than he would get from almost anywhere else and i can see him justifying it with well, we got a new regime in charge. I have no problem with Dana White. He let me fight. I have no problem with Ari Emanuel. I don't even know him. And Vince, well, he's Vince. Uh, hopefully I don't have to see him that much. Paul Levesque, I can work with that guy. I can see him saying that. But I'll still be surprised. And here's why. The guy named Paul Levesque and the company that you're going back to, I mean, you're still with the same women that you, woman that you were with when you got married on that day you talked about them firing you <laughs> you know what i'm saying and like he doesn't need the money he doesn't need this to me for his legacy but i guess i could be wrong what do you think about this because again all of these things line up where it makes complete sense for him to go back but i'm still going to be kind of surprised because of how he went out and the stand that he took this is much like the logan paul dylan dennis situation and the fact that oftentimes real life gives you situations which you could not write and script if you wanted to cm punk spent years being essentially the enemy of the wwe in many ways uh he went back and was i guess an analyst you could say but that was for fox for Fox, and you could say right. he it was getting under their skin by him coming back and doing that with Fox. It, apparently, it did for some there. He he has not been shy about his issues that he's had with the WWE in the past, and to see him go back. I mean, I don't think this is a situation like he's tucking his tail and, and going back and uh, looking at it like he's losing this situation. You know, I think in this, you know, I do a little, if he goes, if he goes, uh, I don't know if he goes back to the WWE after all of this has happened, you know, I think that he's kind of the one in control, you know, 
Well, and, uh, yeah, absolutely. And again, everything, I'm it probably, you know, completely out of out to lunch on this because, again, everything that you said is right and everything is lining up where his return back there is going to be a major big deal if it ends up coming to pass. A whole lot more to get into, including WWE having a couple events coming up to pass this weekend. Fastlane. But before we do that, we got to get to SmackDown. We'll be back, Wrestling Observer Live. Back on the show, Mike Semper, BB, and Filthy Tom Lawler here with you, Wrestling Observer Live. Tom, you know what? We talked a little bit about CM Punk, and that came out of the Wrestling Observer Newsletter. Well, guess what? We're going to continue on with the Wrestling Observer Newsletter because even though they will both be a crown jewel, it does not look like Roman Reigns against John Cena will be happening at the event. According to Dave and another story from this week's newsletter, this was posted up on the front page of the website by Joseph Courier. It takes place in Saudi Arabia on Saturday, November 4th. Meltzer wrote, quote, although the promos where the bloodline and Heyman talk of Cena as the second greatest wrestler of all time with the idea that Reigns is the greatest and a playoff of Cena's WWE tagline of being the greatest and Cena also at this point scheduled for Crown Jewel. It was confirmed to us that Reigns versus Cena is not the match planned for the show. Reigns has already beaten Cena at SummerSlam 2021. I think for most of the people listening to this show, this is not a big revelation at all because I assume everyone is believing that Roman Reigns' next title shot will be against L.A. Knight. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no doubt. Brian no doubt, has, right? It's got to be. Brian's been talking about this for seemingly months. So I would assume that this is the direction they're going. And I mean, when you have a hot hand, you've got to play it. But I hope this does not end up like our old buddy, the Ryback, did when Ryback was scorching hot. I cannot, if you did not live through this, I don't think I could do it justice. Ryback was the most over guy on planet Earth for a good two or three months. Organically, yeah. feed me more. Everybody was ready to pile it into his mouth and give this guy exactly what he wanted and fill him up. <laughs> but apparently somebody had their fill of him too quick because the shield came out. They buried Ryback. He was defeated by CM Punk, and he was just never the same. Now... In retrospect, you could look at that and say, we got the shield from that whole thing. Could it have turned out any better? And, you know, I just, I, I cannot overstate the... Well, look, the, the, one thing they didn't do How this hot time, this guy was, yeah, see, and yeah, but I they fear that they're going to do that again. Well, they didn't book himself into a corner, though, where Ryback was undefeated. Then you had that, you know, that stipulation match with Punk. I forget what it was. It was in a steel cage, I think. Cage of some sort. Yeah, whatever it was, it was like, okay, well, one of these guys has got to come out of this, and you didn't want to take the belt off of Punk because it really wasn't that time for Ryback, as hot as he was. But then you had to beat Ryback, which is what they did, and it didn't work. Hey, if you love this clip, have I got a deal for you. WrestlingObserver.com. Do you have a commute? Do you work out at the gym? Do you like listening to audio on your headphones or your earbuds or whatever the kids use today? Well, WrestlingObserver.com will give you all the audio you'll ever need in your life. Over 15,000 audio shows. Every audio show that we have ever done, dating back to 2005, is available for subscribers at WrestlingObserver.com. Every time a new show comes out, you can podcast it directly to your phone. If you have a commute, as noted, if you go to the gym, if you like to lift weights and listen to Granny review soap operas, well, WrestlingObserver.com gets you full access to all of these shows and all of these archives. You can go back and listen to TNA reviews from 2010. You can go back and listen to reviews of every WWE pay-per-view, every big story that's ever happened in wrestling. You can get access to that at WrestlingObserver.com. Plus, full access to the Wrestling Observer Newsletter every week. 40,000 words of news and information in pro wrestling. Why get all your scoops off Reddit, which aren't even accurate most of the time? Go right to the source, the Wrestling Observer Newsletter. You also get Observer Archives dating back to 1990. So check it out today. 
thousands of issues of the Wrestling Observer Newsletter, tens of thousands of hours of audio, all for $12.99 per month or as low as $9.99 if you sign up for a year. You'll never, you'll never run out of audio if you subscribe to WrestlingObserver.com. So head up there, check it out today, and I'll talk to you again after a while.